hello hello good people welcome to the digital basement my name is junior and today i want to talk to you all about nfts and why i believe they are here to stay for the long run uh nft just basically stands for non-fungible token they've been around for quite some time now but just in recent days uh they've really grown in popularity um as a valuable asset main reason because of the utility side of it uh, which we'll get into that here shortly um, but basically an nft in short is just a certificate of authentication uh, certifying and verifying digital assets uh, that people own within their crypto wallets and stuff like that uh, you've probably seen the board eight yacht club uh, crypto punks crypto kitties and uh, different companies such as those who have their profile picks uh, as digital assets and people have been really making a lot of money off of it you know buying them for like 18 20 bucks and then reselling it for ten thousand twenty thousand uh, dollars some of them are going for hundreds of thousand dollars and stuff like that and again the main reason for that is because of the utility um, utility just being what can you get with these nfts the digital assets so you don't just own a digital asset uh, you actually gain access to uh, I don't want to call them secret meetings, but basically, you know, members only clubs, uh, members only meetings, members only um, mansion visits, stuff like that. Um, even companies like Nike, Adidas, when they have their exclusive drops, um, you get first dibs on those if you own their NFT and stuff like that. But as a topic of this video goes, I just really want to talk to you about why I feel that NFTs are here to stay. Um, and the best way I can describe that is by looking at a case study uh, from a company called Supreme. So I just Google Supreme here real quick, just in case if you don't know who they are. Um, they are real big in the skateboarding world. They are basically just an American clothing company. Um, they resell, you know, high value clothing and stuff like that, mainly because of uh, how unique and rare their items actually are. Um, so in 2016, this company, Supreme, actually sold a brick. A little brick that you you know build a building out of um, one that you could build your own house out of or anything like that and they sold this brick for $30 um, this is way way overpriced for an actual brick as you can see here uh, this is 6,000 percent more than your average you know red clay brick um, but what made this so interesting here I think this is the actual listing here uh, what made this so interesting is that people actually bought it uh, not only did they buy it they actually bought it and tried to resell it for upwards up to thousand dollars on eBay and stuff like that. Uh, and why did people actually buy it? Well, it's because of Supreme, the brand itself. When you bought a, you know, hoodie or a pair of pants or whatever, um, you would actually be able to wear that out and you know sport your looks through Supreme, showing your acknowledgement of the brand itself. Um, Here's a couple of, you know, Twitter listings of people <laughs> actually buying the Supreme brick. Um, and this actually isn't the first time Supreme has, you know, done something like this. I believe they sold uh, a couple of other accessory items before in the past. It really had nothing to do with skateboarding, really had nothing to do with, you know, clothing or anything like that. Um, but it just kind of goes to show you that sometimes uh, when you have a brand that everybody is in love with that, has a really big community behind it and everything um, you can actually I don't want to sell I don't want to say sell anything but you can pretty much you know sell anything uh, even a literal brick for you know 30 bucks and people will actually buy it um, the downside about just selling this brick though is that once it's bought that's it you know somebody else could actually not buy the brick and just go home and make their own brick or something like that with absolutely no problem uh, anytime that this brick is resold, Supreme doesn't get a cut out of it. Supreme gets absolutely nothing from selling this brick other than the satisfaction uh, of saying that, hey, we sold a brick back in 2016. Uh, and people actually bought it and are still buying it to this day. Uh, I'm going to jump over here to a company called StockX now. Uh, as I showed you before, Supreme uh, does resell on StockX plenty of times with their clothing and everything. Uh, but that doesn't stop them from actually selling the brick. So it looks like on stock X people have been really buying this brick, you know, I mean for years now, uh, here's all the trading volume history and stuff like that. Um, you can see the recent sales all throughout the year. I mean, it's 
really going up and down around the hundred two hundred dollar range here's one at 305 and it's really interesting to see how people have been going crazy over this brick to actually buy this brick uh, and they actually get nothing from it StockX doesn't get anything from it um, Supreme doesn't get anything from it the consumer doesn't get anything from it uh, other than you know similar with the stock market and stuff like that you buy low you sell high uh, so you get a little bit of profit to so say somebody bought it for 155 sold it for 185 so that's about a $30 profit there um, and but that's it now to jump back over into NFTs the reason why NFTs will be here to stay uh, think of the same logic if Supreme had put out a NFT of just a brick you know a, a image of a brick and turned that into an NFT and somebody bought it well guess what every time that brick sold Supreme would get a cut out of it uh, every time that you know the end user would sell it also Supreme could get a cut out um, Supreme could get a cut out of it and also the user would get a cut out of it uh, since it's being resold on StockX if it's inside the NFT contract for you know the reseller to get a cut also um, that means that Supreme would get a cut the seller would get a cut and StockX would get a cut as well not only that you could attach some again utility to that NFT and say hey if you buy this image of a brick as an NFT and you hold this NFT in your digital wallet you could actually get you know access to our website for you know exclusive drops um, exclusive wear exclusive you know yacht club meetings and stuff like that all within that NFT um, and that's really the main thing here with these NFTs is that so much can be done with them there is really not a shortage of you know really anything that can be done with them I've seen a bunch of things that have been going around different companies are you know trying to figure out a way to bring NFTs inside of their business so that they are you know stand up with the times uh, not being left behind by this digital world this new technology has really been taking storm um, and I can see really Supreme will be doing that uh, if they haven't already I haven't seen anything come through but if they haven't done it already I can definitely see Supreme uh, jumping into that world uh, and creating an NFT and everybody will be buying it I mean if their brick has been bought and sold plenty of times for you know 300 bucks 500 bucks a thousand bucks uh, as soon as they drop an NFT I mean that's just gonna skyrocket all right so please do leave your thoughts and your comments in the section below um, check me out on all of my social media handles at junior underscore evenso and let me know what you guys think